play things though. It's a it's, uh, happy to see it, man. Happy to see. Um, happy to see it, man. Yeah. Right, so here we go. These guys are gonna begin their battle. Winners finals here of DreamHack Austin. We have Misfits La Luna versus Panda Global's Red Bulls Plup. <laughs> yeah. So so many so many sponsors for Plup. Yeah. Right. That's how that's how you get it, man. When yeah. you're when you're that good. Yep. You need two sponsors yep. to hold all this energy. Okay. And going Sheik makes sense. Yep. Yeah, Luna is really good at this matchup. Yeah. As he's uh, beaten Swedish uh, recently, actually. Right. Yeah. Right. It does, okay. okay. Just keeping his spacing going. You know, Plup being very aggressive is going to go in there. Uh, put out all these hitboxes, make it that much more difficult for La Luna. Oh my god, and the straight up force smash just landing right on the left side of the stage. Yeah. Oh. Man, he's so good at just like keeping the distance around uh, the ledge dash and then doing down tilts. Yeah. Keeping it safe. Just hoping that, yeah, and the crouch cancels, man. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those, yeah. Coming off the ledge like that. Yeah, yeah Plup was gonna definitely like oh. aim for that. All right, yeah. here goes Texas Opportunity. Okay, going for the up air. And if La Luna didn't crouch cancel that, he would have got up aired a bunch of times. Oh. But now he's answering back. Oh, he actually could have got yeah, that because he didn't tech. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was gonna convert off of it or at least get the, the tech chase. Gets the tipper, okay. Okay, okay yeah, just going straight forward. Oh, okay, very late there by La Luna. Okay, good punish out of shield after that down smash. All right, wow, and these guys are neck and neck. Ooh, the movement. All right, Plup's turn. Oh, okay, yeah, if he didn't sweet spot, he would have gotten aired out of shield, and Sheik's nair comes out extremely fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, there's a shield dropping from Plup, man. Yeah, dude, he's counter. Oh, master. okay, surprising that La Luna didn't go for counter. That situa in those situations, he usually does go for counter. Wow, and saving his jump to the oh. last minute. But just like the option coverage from Plup, I mean, he did the down tilt, he get the nair, he still had enough time to do the down tilt after the nair. That's crazy. Yep. Perfectly timed. Oh, okay, he could have still converted that. Oh, wow. that was almost really good. I like what he was going for there with the dash back into getting that tipper. Yep. But very even so far, man. Yeah, tight battle. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's very difficult to try to get back down. All right, Laluna just trying to get something started there with like a grab, possibly get a tech chase at low percent. Oh, but... Ah, man. Oh, man. A little bit of a flub there on this recovery, but... Oh, getting that guaranteed damage. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a, one of the big strengths of Sheik with her grabs against Marth. Yes. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, you gotta go for those tech chases. For sure. Kind of like how Zane does, where he'll tech chase you to death at low percent. Yeah, just to, Yeah, just to get you uh, near the ledge. Right. Ooh, sniping out that dash attack. Oh. Right. Nice. Wow. That's a quick up B, man. Oh, okay, couldn't get the tipper. Still knocking him off stage. Oh. Okay. oh. okay, great air dodge down. Yeah. Ooh. That's yeah. big. Still That's no big. jump. Yeah. No jump after the up B. Good coverage there by Plup. Just in case he would do like a fair neutral B, he's, he could slide right under it with the down tilt. Pops him up. Great job. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so here we go. Counter picks to FD. Trying to get some easy setup there. Trying to get Plup in the air. Easier combos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Less protection from uh, from the platforms for Plup. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And then stifling his movement just a little bit. Yeah, but this helps oh. out Plup so much at the same time, man. Yeah, because when yeah. Uh, Sheik is below Marth, you get so much damage from combos. Um, it's hard for Marth to really get down other than like down air or like using the side B and you just wait for it. Yeah. Ooh, the crouch to get outside the forward air. Yeah. Like he could have gotten a guaranteed fair, but then La Luna would have held down and then he would have slid off and then grabbed the ledge. So he'd rather just try to see if he could pop him up with a down tilt and then possibly KO him with an up air. Right. Yeah. Ooh, the smooth movement. Stopping him right in his tracks with that down air. Yeah. Yeah, but Plup just staying vigilant here with, with that patience, man. Just staying in the middle of the stage. Yeah, he's not. He does not want to approach haphazardly, man. Giving a lot of respect to to the moon. 
Oh no, yeah, try to like oh, man. get the wave lamp right back onto the ledge to try to get a little mix up to make it uh, much easier on himself to get back on stage. Oh man, and uh, not jump canceling these grabs, giving a lot of time for Flup to, to punish it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, this could work out for Sheik so well, but because the combos are just so easy because now Marf doesn't have that protection from the platforms. Yeah, and even like the needles seem like they're stronger. He keeps that distance to where he can jump needle and if they approach, then he's just ready there with a forward tilt or uh, maybe even crouching down tilt. So it's, it seems to be helping out Plup in the neutral game as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, did a little bit too fast. You have to wait till Sheik lands and then puts her whole body up. Right. During the lag of her up B, then you could go for the up tilt. Okay. Oh, Ooh, oh, I like that. Yep. Oh my God. So See, much damage. Just like when you're below. Wow. And the four stock. And the four stock. You go four stock, my boy, like that. The, the quattro. Damn. The quattro. the quattro. Oh my God. But dang man, on his counter pick too. Yeah. On his counter pick. I right, Yoshi's maybe. Okay, Pokemon. All right. I like this. Right, so let's see how this turns out. Wow. Immediate grab. Yeah. And he's uh, getting a lot of... Oh, man, the jump... The spot dodge read into the jump read into the crap cancel down smash. Yeah. Damn. Sometimes you just have to play it safe, man, because he's caught... He's getting, He's been caught with that a few times where Plup will just crouch cancel your Nair or your Fair. Right. And he's at low percent. He'll take that. And he'll down smash you and you have no jumps. Yeah. Easy edge guard. It's true. Oh, okay. Man, it really feels like the La Luna is having a tough time just like getting in and getting something started, you know? Just like the, all the hitboxes that Plub is putting out is just very difficult to contend with. Yep. Oh, and he gets the green grab on the platform. Down tilt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he keeps God. catching him you... over and over. See? And that's what I've been saying a lot, is that people like to drift down to the ledge, especially floaty characters. Yeah. And, you know, Marv is a floaty. So then he's like, okay, I know you're gonna try to grab ledge, so I'm just gonna down tilt you. Yeah. Uh, Alright, okay, it's split Oof. off. Oh, <laughs> hit him with some needles for good measure. Might as well get that 3%. And what's good that I like from Plup too is that he's using needles like on the stage. Yeah. And then just, if he places them on a platform and, you know, they get stuck on the ground too. Yeah. So then if La Luna does any aerial, he has a little bit of extra lag. Yeah. When he does it, because he's hitting the needles that are placed down. And yeah, oh messes my up the timing. And man, what? This is, this is so one sided. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's just keeping his distance with needles, waiting for him to come in, yeah. spacing back airs, charging needles whenever he can. Yeah. Making it so difficult for La Luna to get in. Yeah. yeah. And then he counterattacks so well, especially with his amazing shield drop game. Yeah, we saw shield drop fair there, shield drop back air. Okay. Okay, good mix up there. But the, the slide off after the forward air. Okay, good patience there by La Luna. Not a big punish though after the air dodge. Ooh, yeah. Could have punished that. Damn, wow. that's a lot of percent. You yeah. almost, he almost was chasing him down with the forward air. Yep. Uh, Needles keeping him cornered. Okay. Just content to grab the ledge. Oh, that oh, immediate oh, jab. Oh my God, he's going for some crazy read. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking kind of curtains right here for La Luna. Yeah, it's, it, it really is looking rough, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How does that trade? Yeah, man, it's still planks and everything. Oh, oh wow, that no. actually he actually could have jumped out of that, but yeah. Yeah, you. But he probably expected for himself to get fared. Yeah. After that, so great job to Plup making it a quick. 3-0 as he advances to the grand finals here, DreamHack Austin. Dude, man, that was...